What is up, my friends? My name is Easton Hartzell, and you're listening to our Learning Christ podcast. I'm so excited to start another week off with you guys, and this week is going to be really, really awesome. Um, we have some great speakers this week, so I just want to invite you to share the podcast with all of your friends. That way they can listen to some of our great speakers. Tomorrow we have the opportunity to hear from Maggie Cadell, a good friend of mine that I was able to serve my mission with, and now she's one of my best friends. Um, on Wednesday, we have the opportunity to hear from Randy Clegg. Wednesdays, we're going to do something kind of fun and exciting. It's going to be called Wise Wednesdays. Most of the days, we're going to have young adults, but on Wednesdays, I'm going to bring in somebody who's a little bit more experienced, who, who's, who's, who just knows a little bit more, who has already gone through their young adult period and is on to bigger and better things. Randy's been um, a seminary teacher for about 25 years and has been in every part of the church educational system. He is a genius. And uh, I love him. He's one of my best friends. So I'm excited to have him on Wednesday. On Thursday, I have another good friend of mine. Her name's Erica, which will be pretty exciting. And then um, this Friday, uh, there will be another interview. Ethan's doing an interview on Friday. And then Saturday, I have one of my best friends. His name's Eli Hall. And he's a large part of the reason that I have the testimony that I have today. So I'm excited to hear from him on Saturday. Um, Long story short, it's a great week. Make sure you tune in every day and listen with us. And... Let's help each other build our testimonies. Additionally, this week we have something super exciting going on on our Instagram page. Go to at find.christ as we are doing a giveaway with Haven Light Art. Haven Light Art is the premier, the number one people for for dealing um, art that has to do with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They sell stuff from like Young Sun Kim, Liz Lemon Swindle. Um, so many of the greatest LDS art authors that, or artists that you know, that's who they sell. So you could get a $200 certificate for the art piece of your choice. So you'll definitely want to do it. So go over to our Instagram to see how you can, can enter. This week, we're talking all about John, though. Um, we're in John chapter 1. This isn't John the Baptist. This is John the Beloved, John the Disciple of Jesus Christ. And... I love John. John is probably my favorite author of the four Gospels. He is, I just love how much he talks. Like one of the main things that, that John talks about, he says the, this word more than any other um, of the authors, he says love. And I just feel like love is genuinely kind of the root from which empowers, strengthens, and builds up Jesus Christ. So I think it's important that we talk about love. Um, but we're talking about such good things. We've already been working on some of the videos for and podcasts for later this week, and it's just a great week. Um, as we talk about John, though, I think it's important that we understand John's primary audience was specifically for those who were already who are already saints. Um, as a matter of fact, Bruce R. McConkie says it was generally for those who understood the scriptures and their symbolisms and were concerned with spiritual and eternal things. So this is gen- generally looked at as a gospel that's people who are already strong members, who, who aren't necessarily the Jewish people, because lots of the other authors are writing to those Jewish people. John is primarily writing to those who already have testimonies. Um, but I just feel like that's important for us to understand. Um, other than that, I say maybe we just jump in. Um, I, additionally, many scholars look at John as just the most eloquent kind of maybe speaker with many of his words, he just thought a lot. And I think here in chapter 1, verse 1, we get a really quick sense of that. And in John 1, verse 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning. I want to focus on those three words. In the beginning. My friends, we all have started from different places. I want you to take just a few minutes. No, maybe not a few minutes, just a few moments think where did you start where have you come from in the beginning my friends I testify that God is so proud of you and where you've come I know I look at my own life and I had moments of my life when I was younger in high school where I didn't even I didn't really like the church I didn't really care for Christ or God or any of that stuff but now I'm here and I have such a strong testimony of him of Jesus Christ and of our heavenly parents, and I love them. In the beginning, I was one place, but now I'm somewhere completely different. Now I'm changed. Now I am a disciple of Jesus Christ. In the beginning, 
Now you go a little bit further. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word means Jesus Christ. Christ is the Word, or in other words, he is the messenger of salvation. That's kind of the other translation that this can mean. In the beginning was Christ. And Christ was with God. And Christ was God. In the beginning was Christ. We've lived with Christ since the pre-earth life. We were together there with him when he was assigned, called, and foreordained to be the savior and redeemer of the world. Where he was probably nervous and, and maybe a little bit stressed out and we were there to comfort him, to build him up because we knew who he was and we could feel that. And Christ was with God. We were all with God in this pre-earth life. We all lived with him and he foreordained all of us to very special and important stuff. But the interesting part is it ends, and the word was God. And this is kind of a holdup for lots of different religions, as they say, well, is Jesus Christ the God? The answer is yes, he is part of the Godhead. And the Godhead, it all works unitedly. We so often focus on how we're different from other religions because um, we don't believe in this trinity of all or one being. And we don't. We believe that... God, the Holy Ghost, and Jesus Christ are three separate beings. But what's important for me, at least to understand, is they're all united, one in purpose. They all are looking out for us. And their main purpose is, as it says in Moses, to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. To get us to live with them again, that is all of their goals. So ever since the beginning, Christ's goal was to help get us back to him. That's why he atoned for us. That's why he, he put his, that's why he put himself up on that cross to suffer and to die for every single one of us. He knew that none of us were perfect. He knew all of us were going to sin and mess up. And so he gave us another way that we could live with him again. That other way is to become like him, to repent, and to become more like Jesus Christ. To access that atonement and that atoning power. So my friends... As you think back to where you were, we must give credit where credit is due. The only way, the only reason we were able to come to where we are now is because of Christ. So often we're hard on ourselves. Um, well, I'm here, but I wish I could be here. Let's just take a minute and be grateful for where we are now. I know God's grateful, and I know God is proud of where you are. Obviously, we still have room to grow. But right now, let's just focus on the now. My friends, I'm proud of you. I think it's incredible where you are today. And let's continue to use the atoning power of Jesus Christ so that we can continue to be better. I testify that Jesus is the Christ. He is the word. He is the messenger of salvation. And that's what his goal is, is to bring us salvation and exaltation. I love him. I love our heavenly parents. And I say this all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, my friends, please share this podcast with your friends. Make sure you go enter our uh, giveaway on the Instagram and tune in tomorrow as we listen to Maggie Cadell. Love you guys so much. See you later.